Hello everyone, welcome back to another easy programming tutorial. I know it has been a long time since my last tutorial, uh, roughly five weeks. Uh, I've been really busy and for half that time I didn't even have a working microphone. My old microphone stopped working. So anyway, now that I'm back, I want to show you something that I already showed you but in a different way. My last two tutorials were around stacks. C++ stacks. I showed you how to do them the long way, showed you what each function actually does and today I want to show you how they work using the stack library. For that we'll include stack um, along with include IO stream and you'll know like what some of the basic functions already do. They're built in into the C++ uh, stack library so you won't have to define them. They're not user-defined functions like they were before. So it should be a little bit easier and should be a little shorter. So the first thing you want to do is include stack. It's a library within C++. Uh, I'll try to keep it the same as the other time. So we'll include st string as well. We'll use string. You can use other uh, types, int, float, you know, character. They'll work the same way. So how do you declare a uh, stack? You declare it using the word stack in brackets you know less between less than and greater than sign just like the include part you put in what type you want uh... you can do int you know it'll turn blue but for this thing i'll use string just to keep it the same as the old one and we'll do name the name is the type of stack and it shows you that the name is going to be a string you can use int character you know anything you want I'll also include uh, another variable, you know, n. This will be the input from the user that'll go into the stack. I'll also do character quest is the same as the last tutorial. It'll you know, ask the question, you know, do you want to enter data to the user? And if the user says yes, you know, it just keeps, <coughs> excuse me, it keeps going on, going in through the while loop. So let's start that. Like, do you want to enter data? We'll do cn quest. The while loop is the same as before. So the while quest equals to y or quest equals to lowercase y. We go into the while loop. Excuse me. Loop. Um, unlike the last one, there is no full stack. Uh, the stack here won't have a limit. I'm sure there's a limit based on how much memory you have or what the program permits or what the compiler permits. But Uh, yeah, there is no max on this. Um, so we do C out. Please enter name. We do C in N. This is the variable here. The user will enter a name. And this is where stacks come into play. We saw the stack function push. It pushes the, fir the value to the top of the stack. But here, instead of, um, since we don't have a struct, it works the same way. You'll do name. If you put a dot here, a little pop-up comes up. It shows you all the available built-in functions within the stack library. You don't have to define any of them. So we'll do push and send down n as an argument. You won't have to see. You don't have to define what push does. You know, again, it's built-in, and it'll send it to the stack. It'll be on top. It'll be a top value. And then we'll do, I'll just copy and paste this. There we go. And it'll just repeat the while loop, you know, as long as you want to go. Right. Yeah, and unlike the other one, you don't have to initialize anything. You don't have to, like, say, you know, stack.top equals one. This little line over here constructs. Or creates the stack for you. The one neat function about this is that it has a built in function called size. So we'll do C out. Uh, we'll add a line, this new line symbol. The total size of your stack is. And on the grade dot size.
we got a uh, float there and I'll bring it down here just so you can see it what this does is shows you what the maximum size is It'll show you how many values are inside the size so if you put in 10 names grade dot size will equal to 10 again you don't have to send out any um, parameters with this any arguments with this it's just blank size uh, if you did this in the old program it'll be if you want to know what the top is it'll just do stack that top equals and that's the value so yeah and then we'll output the stock uh, the values that you entered into on the screen so we'll do um, uh, this is to make it neat so these are the values of your stack so let's do a couple new lines and here we want another while loop will do not if you remember the last one it says while the stack is not empty it keeps going through the while loop and here you have one as well we'll do name dot empty see empty pops up more a lot of compilers may not have that so you might need to memorize these you know no parameters for empty you send it down now here name dot pop excuse me name dot top is going to contain the highest value, the latest value in there. So you want to output grade, excuse me, not grade, name dot top right there. ENDL. Uh, this will output the topmost value or the last value that you input it. But you don't want to keep it outputting the same thing. You want to pop, be able to pop it. And you remember what the pop function does? It pops out one of the pro, one of the last pops out the last value that was inputted and stores it somewhere else or takes it out of the memory location. But last time we displayed the popped element. Here we won't. So we'll just do great dot pop. Again, no parameters are needed. No arguments are needed. And and uh, yeah, it's a mistake here. It's not great dot pop. It should be name dot pop. Sorry. I don't know why I keep putting grade. I think I worked on a program earlier that I dealt with grade. So, um, yep, this is the entire program. So I'll run it now. Uh, debug. It says, do you want to enter data? We'll do yes. Let's say, please enter name. We'll do Dave. Uh, yes. Mary, yes. Larry, yes. Harry, yes. Let's do Spider-Man. Okay, there should be five values. So let's see the output. We'll do no. And here's the total size of your stack is five. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. And these are the values of your stack. These are, this is in reverse order since stacks are last in for a stack. Spider-Man, Harry, Larry, Mary, Dave. There you have it. You can use um, integer here. I'll show you what that does do. Int. Again, it won't take a string. Uh, sorry. Yeah. I have to change this to int as well. There, that's, those are the only two things you have to change, but if I put like Harry, it'll, yeah, big error. So close that, run it. I'm going to do integer, and do y1, y3, y5, y7, or 6, y8, y10, no. And these are the values, you know, 6, 10, 8, 6, 5, 3, 1. You can use any type you want. Again, this is, uh, stacks are really easy. They're this is the short way to do it the, the way I did it the other day it's a long way I wanted to explain what each of these functions do like a pop um, empty push and create stack which in this case you don't even need you just need to declare stack stack is a kind uh, is a type show what type the stack is and then the variable uh, it's much shorter um, it's really easy to do uh, hopefully later I, I hope to show you queues I plan to take the same route as well and I'll show you the long way the the separate functions and then go you and then show you the Q library which works similarly. Well uh thanks for watching and again sorry for a long delay between the last programs and this is uh, officially my program 30th I believe I'll start numbering them. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Remember to visit my website, easyprogramming.net, for all my tutorials. And be sure you can contact me if you have any recommendations, if you have any questions, need help.
Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe.